In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to find out the number of records in each of the user-defined tables inside the database. In databases, data is stored in tables, and tables contain rows and columns. The columns are the field names, and the information of that field is stored in rows. So if we count the number of rows of the entire database table separately, we will actually count the records of our database. We have some tables already defined in our database over here, with data already stored in them. In the query editor, select the table name from the system tables called sysobjects and maximum number of rows from sysindexes. Sysobjects basically is a system table which contains all the information about database tables, whereas sysindexes is a system table which contains the information about the data stored in those tables. Next, we will insert an inner join on the sysindexes ID and connect it to the ID of sysobjects. After that's done, we will filter the tables with a WHERE clause and specify U as the X type. U means that you are only interested in the user-defined tables. If you want the data from the system-defined tables, then you can specify S as the X type. With that done, we will group the data by table name and order the results in descending order so that we can have the names of the tables having more data appear first. Now let's execute the query by pressing F5. And there you have it. All the number of rows of all the user-defined tables are being displayed here.